pizza with a cheese? Hello, yes sir. What would you like to order? Yeah, I'd like to order a Chicago deep dish pizza with uh, extra olives, both green and black, roasted slim sliced chicken, four slices of pepperoni, sun dried tomatoes, basil, garlic, extra cheese on one side, extra cheese in the crust, and uh, diet cola. Hello? 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 Extremely specific needs. There are some people who have them whether it comes to food, clothing or even adventure. Until now, if you wanted an off-roader, you'd get a thar. If you wanted a rough and ready machine with an urban flavor, you'd get the Renault Duster all-wheel drive or the Mahindra XUV 500 all-wheel drive. But this machine here is something else. You can drive it to your farmhouse and beyond. That too while carrying a set of bicycles or more. It also packs in creature comforts and mechanical sophistication so as to be used every day and it has the size quotient to play bully. Hello Vcross. Thanks to the styling, despite the flatbed, nobody's gonna think of you as a farmhand who accidentally wandered into the city. Not that they'd say it to your face because the V-Cross is properly intimidating. It's even longer than the Tata Xenon XT and even the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. There's nothing S, M or large about it. It's all double XL. Whether it's the plus size chrome grille, big headlamp clusters with projectors, chunky wheel arches and of course the loading bed that can take weights of up to 265 kilograms. It's large enough for boxes, bicycles, suitcases or if you're feeling a little adventurous, a Honda Navi or even Ishan. Neither one of these are optional extras though. It's a tough cookie alright and the quality of plastic parts is in the same vein. However, the design for the dashboard is quite smart. The silver accents, the round design for the aircon controls look cool. You also get this touchscreen music system, but unlike Ishan or the Navi, it is available as an add-on. You also get a nice MID and dual glove boxes for added utility. The features won't make you go wow, but you have the necessities. You get power adjustable and foldable wing mirrors, steering mounted controls, climate control, a seat height adjuster, and a rear seat that makes this a proper family car. It even splits 60-40 for added storage. The front seats get super soft cushioning and will hold most frames well. There's ample travel in the seats in terms of range and height and getting into a good driving position isn't too much of a task. That said, I do wish the steering had reach adjust and it tilted up just a notch higher. The rear seats have just about enough legroom too, even if you are a 6 footer sitting behind the other. However, the seat back angle is slightly upright which can get annoying over long distances. Alright, now it's time for a 3 tier test to see what it's like to live with. Now the V-Cross gets the same 2.5 litre turbo diesel engine as the regular D-Max. And Isuzu relies a fair bit on the reputation of this very engine. It makes 136 PS of power which honestly isn't much. But what matters is the 320 Nm of torque. When you go off-road, just letting go of the clutch is enough to make gradual progress. There's an ample amount of ground clearance available as well and thanks to those fat chunky tyres, no matter how rough the surface gets, the V-Cross is unfazed. The cherry on top would have to be the shift on the fly 4x4 system. It also comes with a low range it's for those times when the situation gets really mucky, really rocky or let's face it, even really sandy. So yes, it is a capable off-roader, no doubts about that. But if you are looking at hardcore off-roading, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. For starters, you may want to get yourself a set of proper off-road tires because the stocks, they don't really do the greatest job when it comes to gripping, especially on muck. Second thing, the steering, it is pretty heavy. So if you're getting into some tight situations, getting out of them is going to need a fair bit of effort. Over and above that, like we've highlighted before, this thing is humongous. So, 
maneuverability is not going to be a forte and you will have to work your way around that as well. So what will this car be like to drive on an open road? Now understandably this is not going to be an engine that's going to please any drag racers. It's not a motor that likes to be revved hard and gets awfully loud when you do. Instead, the low end torque encourages early upshifts and overtaking is no problem either because you keep getting pulled forward in this gigantic bush of torque. The ride quality is pretty much par for the course, understandable for a vehicle of this segment. It's a little bit bumpy in the front and more noticeable so in the back. The fact is, with that large storage area in the back with the rear leaf spring suspension, the chassis is just set up to take weights. It's not meant for handling or you know enthusiastic driving. So when you don't have the weight in it, it is going to behave rather truck-like. Body roll is well managed for the most part. I mean, on regular roads, it's not really that much of a problem. It's only when you go for some really hard cornering or maybe you come across some highway undulations that you notice that it's a little bit top heavy and maybe you just need to hold off on the throttle that little bit. The V-Cross will tower above almost everything on city roads. And while that is something to be enjoyed, turning it around on smaller roads or finding a parking spot would be painful. Also, this steering is quite heavy. The saving grace though is the clutch. It does have a slightly long travel, but it is awfully light. And thanks to all of that low-end torque, you can lift off in second, sometimes even in third gear. The V-Cross is attention-grabbing and it can be your workhorse or even your plus-size plaything. However, for the price, there are off-roaders which are easier to live with. So if you are buying one, do not use it as your tool to show off in the city. This beast is the real deal.